Carl and Damon here from Games, Brains and Headbang Live, GBHBL.com for sure, and it's They Made What into a TV series, episode two of Castlevania, the Netflix Castlevania TV show. We're on season one, episode two, called Necropolis. I love that word. Oh, I love that word, except when it's used in Return of the Living Dead sequels, then it can get in the bin, because that movie fucking sucks. Yes. You ready for this? Yep. Whereas episode one, which we absolutely loved, was all about Dracula, this one is all about Trevor Belmont. Because that's where we pick up. We pick up where we left off with the mysterious man sitting in the corner of the bar, pub. And we will soon learn that. Not just yet, but because I knew I wrote that anyway. This is Trevor Belmont. And the drunk is ranting about the nobles and the class system. You know, sitting here in this country right now and be like, oh, I don't want to hear about this in my fantasy thing. It's too real. It's all too real. Yep, exactly. Trevor goes to the bar drunk and demands more ale. But while looking for some coin, his coat of arms and his shirt are seen by the drunks. Very conveniently. Hmm. They confront him about being a Belmont, but Trevor pretends he doesn't even know who they are. He tries to leave, but he gets in his face and we find out that the Belmonts have been pretty much wiped out. Or wiped from history. The drunk accusing the Belmonts of dealing in black magic and being the cause of Dracula's hordes. That was a really interesting thing. Yeah. Don't, 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 see, don't see how, but yeah. What do you mean how? Well, I don't see how he's getting blamed. Gonna, yeah. well, the same reason why the French Revolution happened. True. Literally, the reason why France doesn't have kings and queens and all that is because the people beheaded them. Yeah. yeah. If the people rise up, remember, you you, you, you know what I mean? Particularly with nobles. Yeah. You might have a uh, certain level of... You won't have an army in that sense. You might have a certain level, but the people are always... Remember, think about even a reference to real life, uh, in real life now. Uh, there are whatever, X amount of police officers yeah can't trust that to the actual population no no, no it's consent yeah, yeah police by consent rule by consent mm. same with the queen uh, the king of england right now rule by consent do you know I mean but the people like they did in the french revolution decide mm. and that's what's happened here that's exactly what's happened here yep. blaming you not and remember like likely as well the nobles weren't able to protect them mm. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're yeah, gonna blame them for yeah, that course, as you would yeah. see yeah. that's exactly what happened a lot absolutely Trevor does try to leave again, but is hit by the drunk, who continues to demand that Trevor admit who he is. Who's quite insistent that he wants Trevor to admit it. After being kicked in the balls, Trevor reveals himself, but then starts to fight back. This is a fun fight scene. It's a brawl. Trevor puts up a good fight, regardless of the numbers. And you do get the impression as well that, like, as a nobleman, he's clearly fallen from grace. That much is for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I also think I figured out that if he wasn't wasted, he would destroy these, destroy these people. You reckon? Yeah, I do think he could because when numbers he, are numbers. He's still a human man. When, 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 he, when he sobers up, I, I, I know there's less people, but you, you sort of see his skills later on in the episode. So I think that because obviously when, when, he, when he gets out of the pub, he's like throwing up everywhere. Yeah, yeah, he's I, a mess. I think, yeah. yeah, I think, I think, I mean, he might have some losses, as he said. Num numbers are numbers. He's not some superhuman. No, he, that's, he, that's he, kind of so, not the so point, he, is yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, he does stagger out into the night, throws up and falls asleep in the woods. It's like, this is our hero, everyone. <laughs> this is, well, going to be one of our heroes. Yeah. The morning sun wakes him up and he finds himself in the city of Gresset. He figures he can find food there, but witnesses the last vestibules of Dracula's forces leaving, having attacked the night before. Trevor finds a route inside the walled city via the sewers and is able to walk past a sleeping guard. So just instantly walk in. Good defense is there, people. <laughs> And once inside, Trevor finds a city deserted and under siege from the night creatures at night. And there are a lot of dead bodies. This is quite a dark scene, you know, walking yeah. around it and the blood and all of that. It's quite harsh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. In the town square, things are a bit livelier. Obviously, the night demons, uh, the night creatures only come out at night. So daytime is protection for you. He goes to find some food. He also finds out that people are blaming. So he talks to loads of different groups of people to get information. I like that because it, it, it kind of reminds me of like playing a game. You know, yeah. Like from, from different areas. Talking, yeah, yeah. yeah, getting information and finding out stuff because he finds that the people are blaming a group of speakers for Dracula's assault. Uh, the speakers basically are nomadic scholars that travel around and offer aid and help to people. Uh, naturally, if they turn up at a certain point followed by Dracula's hordes, they're naturally going to get the blame because that's what all people do. Always looking for someone to fucking blame. Yeah. Instead of just being like, oh, maybe just Dracula doesn't like us. Yeah. Which is basically it. He learns about the sleeping soldier. And this is a legend. A legend of the sleeping soldier that is said to sleep in the catacombs and will return when needed. It sounds like a legend. There you go. Yeah. He also learns that some are putting their faith in the new bishop. And I was like, oh, mate, when will they learn? <laughs> fucking church does you no good. Oh. Absolutely. Trevor ends up intervening on the speaker elder being attacked by a pair of corrupt priests. The first use of his whip, which of course, if you know, it's a cross 
comes out with a whip, you know, and uh, that's your main weapon in Lords of Shadow as well. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's, and he uses that as well. The voice acting here, I was like, I know it was really, really good. Yeah, yeah definitely. Really good. Yep. Great for four is help. The elder brings her back to the speaker's home. There, Trevor suggests, look, leave the city, as the, you're clearly no longer welcome here. And he's yep. not wrong. Uh, but it's here as well that Trevor learns just why Dracula is trying to wipe out humanity. The speakers don't explain that they can't leave. For starters, they're there to help people regardless of if they like us or whatever. Mm-hmm. But they also, um, they also believe the story of the sleeping soldier. Yeah. And um, basically, if to explain us to Trevor, I actually shocked that he just plans to drink, eat and move on. It's kind of like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? I don't know why they seem to think that he was going to help them or be part of it and so on. I don't, I don't know either because his, his whole family's been wiped out pretty much. He, he, he's literally, he's, he's um, rudderless, directionless. Yeah. And he has no love for the people either for what they did because of what they did to the Belmonts mm-hmm. and blames them for blindly following the church. So you've got that aspect there as well with Trevor. However, it's revealed that the elder's grandchild is missing and that she went into the catacombs. All right, they don't actually say she. They avoid saying that, but I'll tell you now, it's a she. It is the character Cypher that uh, Trevor will meet when he goes after her. So she went into the catacombs under the city in search of the sleeping soldier. And they don't want to leave, not necessarily with her, but with her body. Mm. Which I thought was a really interesting thing, is they kind of presume... Because they don't talk about Trevor going in no. to get her. It's Trevor going in to get the fucking body. The body, yeah. Yeah. Dead, yeah. But he also... Trevor agrees to go and get the body, provided the speakers get ready to leave before nightfall. So I thought that was a nice lack of selfishness. Do you know what I mean? That he, uh, what to call it, um, is willing to, you know, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. That's this episode. It's uh, a little bit less, it's less energised, there's less going on. It's more really just following Trevor along as we go through these stages and yeah, experience what he's going like to be a, setting up. It's, it's a setup. Like story-based, yeah, yeah it's a story-based yeah. episode. But it's still, I still felt the... Did, did, uh, what, the way in the world? Yeah, yeah, like the, 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 the edge to, to want to watch more. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, 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 I wanted to watch more, but I, I managed to hold, hold off. Because obviously, obviously, in previous videos, I, I, I stupidly watched the entire You'll episode. go ahead, yeah. But now, but now I want to try and do it. When we decide we're going to record yeah, yeah, the next yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Because in this as well, being there's four episodes, and they're almost all completely character based. Uh, an introduction to each character. There'd be no reason why you couldn't to a certain degree. But here we are still going through the stages. This is all about Trevor Belmont to a degree. We learn a bit more about him. We learn a little bit more about the bigger world and the bigger picture. Also his role in it and where he is right now. We learn about church corruption, particularly as well how the church is still controlling and dominating the world regardless. Because even in... Uh, Dracula's accusations wouldn't be commonly known. So in the sight of devilry, in the fight, in the sight, in in view of horrors and hellish monsters, you would still turn to the church. Yeah. Do you know what I mean it's of still course. very much that? Uh, you know, Satan could appear on Earth right now and say the whole reason why I've come to destroy you all is because you believe in uh, God. Yep. Tomorrow the fucking churches will still be packed as people go there begging for forgiveness and yes. hoping that God will come save them. That's literally. Uh, how it works and hey that's by the by we're not going to get into a religious aspect here but because religious iconography iconography and um detail is so ingrained in castlevania it's always going to be an interesting subject to talk about yeah, particularly as castlevania and so far we've seen is very heavily leaning towards corruption of the church mm-hmm. which you know tying it to real life you look at someone like vatican city <laughs> and all of that you can't help but think like oh okay and obviously yeah. you know stories and things that have occurred over the fucking years it's not a great image for um um for christianity nope. catholicism in particular but obviously Castlevania is still very much obviously completely and utterly based in the extremes and a fantastical world. I think this one being slower works side by side with the episode we've just seen. Yeah, def- definitely. Uh, the first episode, should I say. The first episode. Because you've kind of got that frantic introduction to Dracula. Now here's a slower introduction to Trevor while getting across that he's confident, he's brash, he's tough. Yep. But he's also a bit of an idiot. Probably bites up more than he can chew. He probably shouldn't even got into that fight. He should have yeah. li- just walk out, Trevor. Yeah, just walk away. Exactly Do you know what I mean? Away. You know, um, and aspects like that. And that actually is something quite important, I think, as well. Obviously, the voice acting again yeah, it's is, which uh, yeah, it's is yeah. excellent here, and, um, and yeah, just it, the extra details. It sets up for. Uh, I mean, it sets up for the next few episodes. I mean, obviously, me who's not ne- I've never seen this, for me, it, it's setting up to releasing this soldier, on, soldier, yeah. soldier, and it's like this guy going to. Either destroy everything and the demons, or who knows, it may not be as powerful as you, you may think. So, <laughs> so but judging by that, our, our community is going to be powerful. <laughs> it might not even exist. Yeah, or that, yeah, it might just be a rumour. 
Yeah, it is. It is a continuation. Another strong episode. A really enjoyable one. It's Necropolis, episode two of the Castlevania TV series. Look out for episode number three while we'll we're talking about that. Let us know what you think of this one in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. Games, horror, and heavy metal. What else is life for?